Greetings, gamer girls. I am Celsius, also known as Golden Clocks, and I welcome back more Mother slash Earthbound Zero. Uh, last time, uh, we discovered a poltergeist in our house, and uh, yeah, it was bad. But in this episode, we are going to start on our journey. So I say, let's -a go. Oh, first random enemy. Oh, jeez. This is that Wally I was talking about. Um, uh, this could be potentially bad, because the Wally is actually, Wally is actually kind of powerful. Um, however, beating him will give you, uh, will give you a 5 experience and $35, so they might be worth hunting in that aspect, I guess. Um, there's, uh, five different enemies you can find, uh, six different enemies you can find just on the way, uh, just on the way, uh, on the way to town. Well, let's at least try to fight. fight. Oh, jeez, this ain't good. Got 20 HP, so, uh, oh my. He's got 20 HP, so. Oh, okay. I was about to say five hits from Nintendo will probably do that, but. Just be on the safe side, I'm gonna go back and heal. Uh. Something I want to mention is that, um, this game, um, it's got, it's, a uh, colorful RPG, and it's got some witty dialogue in it, and I will openly say that this game is not very easy, um, especially towards the beginning, whenever, when you're kind of just level one, well, I guess when we got up, get out of the way, mom, hold down the run button so she'll move out of the way faster. What are you doing? Do you not want me to go on my adventure? Uh, uh, there. Ninten! Door! There you go. Okay. Uh, Stenipede. Um, this is the Goomba of this- Actually, no, I think the lamp was the Goomba of this game, but I guess you could say that Stenipede was the... Koopa of this game. Actually, no, I think maybe the- maybe the, the rat would be the Koopa of this game. Now, let's check it. Weak against sprays. Exterminate with insecticide. Okie dokes. This is, uh, Lindgren, or I don't exactly remember her name. But what do you guys say? Oh, what can I do? What should I do? Where can I go? Who can I see? What should I do? What should I do? My little pippy is gone. If you're going to Podunk, please tell me the mayor. Oh, me, oh, my. <laughs> so, it seems this lady has lost her daughter. But you know what? I am the protagonist of a game, and I am... And I am going to do it because do it for you because I'm the protagonist and generally forced to do whatever is requested of me. So let's go. In fact, by the way, um, Nintendo's shirt actually the hippie. <laughs> the hippie. Um, check it. Well, you can dodge swiftly, by the way. He looks like he could grow flowers in his hair. <laughs> you know, that cross on it, I mean, that I mean, peace sign on his shirt kind of makes it look like he has abs. <coughs> <coughs> the bullhorn, your mother is going. And Nintendo believed it. Nintendo's fight decreased by six. Screw you. It, oh, jeez. This is, oh my gosh. I think it might, it might be an idea if we run. But Nintendo wasn't convinced of. This made Nintendo angry. Nintendo offense increased by 10. Yeah. Uh, I guess I can explain how stats work in this game. Let's see. Um, or heart points, not hit points. Shows how much damage uh, you can withstand any healer and it will replenish this. Uh, PP. Uh, psychic points shows how much PSI uh, 
you can use before it runs out. Uh, offense shows the maximum amount of damage you can deal with a normal attack. Defense, uh, uh, defense shows how much damage Nintendo can resist from any, any attack. Fight, uh, fight determines the likelihood of an attack being successful, as well as the attack of a smash. Uh, let's see. Speed. Determines how fast the intent can attack. The greater the speed, he'll attack first. Um, wisdom. Shows uh, how likely a status element can be afflicted on an enemy. Uh, strength. Uh, strength determines how much peep, how much HP is gained when a level up. Force determines how much PP is gained when it occurred to level up. Uh, down there in the corner, by the way. Uh, melodies. There are eight melodies in the game, and they are all required to get. Just letting you know right now. And I'll be showing you exactly where you can get all of them. <coughs> you may say I'm a fool. Feeling the way that I do. You can call me Pollyanna. Say I'm crazy as a loon. I believe in silver linings, and that's why I believe in you. Welcome to Podunk. Um, let's try going in this house right here. Hey, what are you... Excuse me. Mm. What do you got to say? Hee hee hee, I am the noisy mouse. Some buildings you can enter and some you cannot. If, a door, if the door is round or has a sign, go on inside. The rest of the doors will not open for you. Bye. Uh, I don't like to believe what he's saying right there, because this is actually not true in some cases. Um, however, in most cases it is true, because, um, there's a house right here with a door. Um, it's locked. What do you got to say? Don't tell me you, you've been to the, uh, to the cemetery. And I just realized I was too busy singing and didn't even talk to the person up here. Did a poltergeist visit your house? He tore mine apart. I, is, I guess this is your house right here. I don't know. Uh, there is a way you can go um, east, by the way, or west, excuse me. Um, but we don't want to go there, go there quite yet. Um, what do we want to do, though? Um, someone must be controlling the dead. That's an awfully morbid thing for um, an old lady to say. Zombies may be anywhere in this town. Be nice. You're a zombie, aren't you? Yes. No? Are you really human? Yes. It's amazing you came here. Be nice. You're really a zombie? Are you? Uh... No? Are you really human? No? You see, don't tell anyone, but I'm so scared I wet my pants. <laughs> Be nice. You're, you're a zombie, aren't you? Yes. There's no cure for zombies. Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh, that such charming characters. It's convenient that the cash machine is next to the service counter, but why should I care? I don't have a card for it. Well, I do. Haha. -ha. The gentleman in the Canary Village is my uh, is my idol. Oh, how sweet. The receptionist in the city hall is gorgeous. City hall, city of Poland. The town mayor is looking for a brave man. Oh, you really think so? I'll share the secret with you later. Secret? Okay. It actually sounds like I'm kind of wondering what you... Hello, Mr. Mayor! I'm Abbott, not the town mayor, but his assistant. Mr. Mayor is over there. Alright. Hello, Mr. A. Goodman. Which is ironic. Citizen, I know you would like to help your town. Well, a child is straight into the cemetery. And I'm up for re-election soon. You must help. Please help me. Uh, what have I said? No. Oh, you will go there to save her. Return it to me alive and surely I'll be a hero. I mean, uh, you'll be a hero. Looks like... <coughs> Looks like we got an untrustworthy mayor right here. And he's too lazy to go out and save the, uh, girl herself because... Up to be the hero because he's... All because he's up for re-election. Sounds like... Sounds like a certain blonde-haired man. What do you got to say? Can I help you? Please use the menu. So we got orange juice, french fries, hamburger, all which will, um, all which will, um, all which will, uh, hold on. 
All which will like heal, heal a different amount of HP. Um, I'm actually going to it. Oh, recovery items. Wow, I was typing. Um, let's see. Um, orange juice uh, will only require only heal um, 10 HP. Let's see. French fries will heal around 20 around 20 HP, and hamburger will restore um, about 50 HP. So, yeah. Yeah, it's sorry if this, this is the most exciting episode. I just want to get familiar with, like, the characters. and Let me talk to you. Wow, I think I'm the part... I think I'm her party member. My, you are that snot-nosed Ninten who sat next to me in kindergarten. Yeah, well, I was six. I'm 12 now. Could that mean that that girl's 12, too? Wow, you could get a job in, uh, at 12 years old in the 1980s. God, how I wish that was as simple as it is now. I got how I wish that today was as simple as it was then. Uh, what do you got to say? Hey, Dinten, how's your asthma? Mine has gotten better. But a car exhaust still sets it off. Wow. Our Nintendo has asthma. That's very sad. Okay. Uh, there's something kind of interesting I want to, um, uh, to uh, bring up about Nintendo. Okay, you see this character right here? Uh, nin in Japanese version, Ninten uh... Ninten um uh, had a uh, black stripes on his shirt. In the uh, in the Japanese version, that kid had um had dust around him. In the Japanese version, this kid this girl did not have pigtails, instead had um some kind of straighter hair. And in the, and get this, in the Japanese version, Carol's hair was actually actually standing up instead of down in the Japanese version. So why was that changed in the American version? It was because they looked too much like characters from Charlie Brown. And I was like, are they serious? In what way, in what way, shape, or form does the Mother series have anything to do with Charlie Brown? Nothing. God. Let's just talk to these people. The animals began, it went mad and began to escape. So the zoo was locked. <coughs> to eat, you'll find bread. Uh, You'll find bread stale. But with its crumbs, you can mark the marker trail. Do you think I talk too much? Well, do I? No. In fact, you rhyme. I like you. Hey, talk. Has a little girl who strayed into the cemetery been rescued? Uh, no. Um, I'll... By getting to it. I'm just... Okay, what do you have to say? Hey. This is the hospital. Who are you here to visit? Uh, nobody? Oh, not visiting a patient? If you are the patient, please go to the back room. What do you got to say? Well, well, I'll treat you for 25 each. No! You really don't need treatment? Oh, well. Eh. Uh, well, thank you anyways. What do we got up here? Is anybody we can talk to? No. Okay. Seems like everybody in Poduck is happy and healthy, and I like that. Um. Uh, but how much money do we have? Um. Uh, actually, real quick, I want to head to the departments. Well, actually, let's go into the hotel and see what we got. Whoa, there's just some people here. The room that's rated hotel is so inexpensive. That's not where it stops being cheap either. <coughs> Why? How much does it charge? Stop moving away from me. Welcome, third in for a night. Okay, that's not bad. Sorry to hear that. Please be this again. Whenever you get tired, just drop by our inn. That guy certainly is a mama's boy. <laughs> but ne next where I want to go is um. Well, first of all, the animals went mad and out of control. Dead, the dead, be dead became aimed zombies and began attacking people. What can you? What can be done? The Canary Village in the village is northwest from here. It's a nice place to visit and admission is free. That's cool. I don't understand why visiting a canary farm wouldn't be, wouldn't be free, but... Here we are in the department store. What do you got to say? How many help? Do you have something to return? Which one? Take this. I'll give you $15 for bread. Is that alright? No! Good. Thank you for shopping with us today. So you can sell your items by talking to her. Uh... We go upstairs, we have drugs, 
Uh, no jokes to me either. Welcome, what can I tell you? We have antidote, which can cure poison. We have asthma spray, life up cream, and insecticide. Uh, life up cream is not really worth it because you can get it easily later. But insecticide, um, you can actually use to easily take out centipedes or other bug like creatures. I don't know why you'd use a centipede unless you just want to be funny, but whatever. Sports goods. Welcome, what can I sell you? We have a plastic bat, slingshot, and a wooden bat. Uh, the slingshot might seem pretty good, and it's because it's pretty powerful, but the slingshot actually misses a lot, so I don't really think it's that worth it. However, wooden bat, uh, $500. Um, it might be worth your time to actually get this. It's really expensive, but, uh, but, um, it's really expensive, but, um, it might, it will be really worth it because you'll do a heck of a lot more damage than you would with your fist or the plastic bat. Definitely with your fist. Uh, now here I'm going to show you what you do with the, um, uh, well, check this thing. Please just take your cash card. Good to have you. We can withdraw $108. We are still, we are still, uh, 392 away from getting it. However, I, it will definitely be worth it because of the heck of a lot of damage you'll be doing. Uh, so what you might want to do is you might want to grind on enemies and you want, we want to, uh, have, um, have them, uh, if, 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 and you might want to have them uh, uh, get you money, especially um, Wally and the Hippie, because uh, Wally and the Hippie will actually give you $35 each. Um, here's one one right now. Oh, geez, this is actually... Oh, whoa. Um, okay. I think I just made it, made it to level 3. Oh god, Wally again. I'm, so, I'm thinking maybe it might be an idea if I heal, but I don't really want to. Plus, by the, if you're if you're wondering, if you're suggesting I run, I should mention running only gives you um, a 50/50 shot of actually getting away, and in my, and uh, and it's kind of like Pokemon. I don't really trust I don't really trust it to not work. So yeah, and we're actually getting kind of weak, so we might want to. Oh god! Oh no! 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 Oh my goodness! Um. Do your best. Well, Nintendo, Nintendo, you seem to be worn down with funding. Continue. With a straight regain, Nintendo, return one spot to the fighting sea. Do your best, Nintendo. Okay, I'll admit I kind of partially died on purpose there just to show what the, what the game over screen looked like, but I promise you guys, I'm, I'm going to attempt to do a no-death run of this game, aside from just that first one, just so I could show what the game over screen looks like. <coughs> <coughs> But I'm gonna attempt a no death run of this game. So that's that. No, that is my main goal. I uh, should mention that if you die, you actually will lose a little bit of money, but you also lose all your PP. Uh, but luckily, healing at home will uh, give you will restore all your PP, so that's good too. Uh, and I and I guess and now while this is happening, uh, well. I guess I can grind a little bit on camera, I don't see any harm in that. Because now that we're level 3, there is something I think that can happen. Which is why I want to stay close to home, so, uh... Crow, I hate these enemies with a bloody passion. Okay. I kind of want to check it, but at the same time I don't. Let's just hope we can take it out fast. That is what I was afraid of. These guys can steal your items. Yeah, the jerks can steal your items. You took away my orange juice. You selfish, you selfish jerk. Yeah, if you can believe it, it, you took away both my orange juice. These were given to me by my sisters. Screw you. You deserve to be brutally smashed. I guess I don't know. 
I don't know. But yeah, they can steal your items, and you don't freaking get them back. I'm starting to think maybe while I was maybe while I was fighting Wally, I should have used that orange juice, but whatever. All as well as and all as well then well. Also, something else I wanted to mention is that in the Japanese version, crow the crows were actually holding cigarettes. Yeah, the crows. Yeah, they took the translators took away the crow's cigarettes, so they get their revenge. They took both my orange juice. Hey, I mean, hey, I mean, uh, step, hey, orange juice is better, better for you than, you than, uh, yeah, than the cigarettes, that is for sure. Ah, here we go, this is what I want, what I was looking for. We just learned a new PSI power, Life Up Alpha. Life Up, Life Up Alpha is actually um, a healing move. Um, let's see. Um, <coughs> Life of Alpha will recover 25 to 35 uh, HP, um, which is cool. Uh, and, and yeah. So basically, uh, as you level up, you will um, gradually learn more PSI, PSI powers. Uh, And, um, and yeah, uh, you will, uh, you will learn them during a level, however, they kind of happen at random when you actually learn them, so, yeah. You don't know exactly when you're gonna learn them. So, I guess I can, oh, we have a snake here. It's not poisonous, don't worry. It might not be poison, maybe. <laughs> wow, I didn't even, I, I didn't even, I didn't even do that on purpose. Maybe I can cut until I guess maybe I can cut until I've gotten a hundred, five hundred dollars. So cut to that. Has a short temper, or so be careful. I'm not even sure if you can say see the stray dog. <coughs> yeah, it looks more like a Wolverine than a dog. Okay, um, now that we, uh, now that I, uh, have done that, I, well, see, so, I will show that Nintendo has grown to level 5, and his current stats, he's got, and here are his current, here, here are his current stats, jeez. Um, he's also got, uh, he also learned some more, uh, PSI moves, um, he, I, he got healing alpha and hypnosis, uh, um, healing alpha, healing is basically, um, healing is basically, um, just a way you can, uh, heal off certain status conditions. We'll get into what they are later, but for now we're going to fight even more enemies and get more experience. Oh, pfft. I don't know. Wally's normally pretty tough, but we can, we can probably kick his ass now that we're level 5. If he would stop dodging her attacks, jeez. <laughs> okay, no. I'm not gonna crap in the game because it's random encounters, you know, it's... Oh, jeez. I, I did mention, I think I mentioned this earlier, but, uh, uh, I don't really think I gave a vague enough explanation for it, but, uh, when you get a smash attack on the, uh, on the enemy, uh, the text for, 
the text for um, uh, Smash Bowl. Um, I don't know if this is a glitch in the in the. Uh, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but the the text in the uh, Smash tag will be the um, roughly the same color as the enemy that got hit by it. Like if you saw there, the uh, the, uh, the the uh, Smash had like um, bl had a blue had a blue shading on it. Uh, what do we want to do now? Oh yes, um, now I want to head into the department store, and, okay. Uh, I don't know, now, apologies if I already, if I already showed how to use this, but how do you, how you use the ATM machine is, you open up your ready, you go to goods, and use your cash card. And you can withdraw, uh, however much money you want. I guess I'll just withdraw everything I have. And, uh, we're going to, uh, buy the... Yep, God, controls. Controls are not very, not very smooth in this, but then again, it is an NES game. Uh, we've got the plastic bat, the wooden bat, and the slingshot. Actually, well, we, so we want the wooden bat, because it'll do more damage than the... Because it'll do more damage than the... Than the, uh, plastic bat. In which I'm going to put the... which I'm going to... I didn't even look at it. Hold on. I should mention that once you equip something, you can't really unequip it unless you replace it with another, with another equip. Ninten, use this weapon to fight with weak enemies. All right. And we don't really need this plastic bat anymore. At least I don't think we do. Uh, you can actually sell your items to this lady, and which she'll give us forty dollars for a plastic bat. And uh, also, right here, phone. Uh, you can actually spend if you you can actually go to the department store and spend one dollar uh, to use this phone, and you and you can save without having to go all the way back home. However, there are different phones around on the area, so you don't really have to do that. But it's only one dollar. It's not that bad. Let's see, um, so, uh, A. Goodman said something about, about the girl wandering around, wandering into the cemetery, and that, and I guess that was Pippi, um, uh, for Pippi, so, I mean, but I just wanna, just, so where you wanna go is, um, oh, by the way, wanna mention real quick, if you are weak, don't talk to guys that look like this, because if you do, zombie! They're actually they're actually pseudo zombies pretend um, posing as normal people. Watch out for further sneak attacks. Wow, we got bit by a zombie. We didn't turn into one. Ha hallelujah! Whoa. Uh, okay, I gotta kill just to be safe. You shall become a zombie! Hey, my high-pitched voice is back! Woo! <coughs> Still coughing a bit, though. <coughs> As you can see, we're doing significantly more damage than we were before. <coughs> Jeez. Alright. And uh, just to be safe, I'm actually gonna go back, go back home and heal, um, because we got um, a pretty tough part coming up. So well, I'll be right back. So now I got all the way through that stretch without running into any enemies. So I think maybe we, maybe we should start looking for Pippi, you know. Even though I'm really, I mean, okay, let's put, <laughs> let's take, let's uh talk about this for a second. Let's talk this guy first. You are you really going to cemetery? Years. I th I thought you were a sensible child. Okay, I'm not. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's a typo or not. So I think we need to go down this way. And I just want to say real quick, Miss Lindgren. Oh, by the way, there's a house over here. Check it out. 
we got a man known as the Blue Hair Healer. Believe it or not, I am a healer. I can charge your PP and cure stone illness. Refresh. Give me $18 for that. No! Okay, if you want to. Yeah, this guy can restore your um, PP. He can't restore your HP. Uh, your PP to fully, I might add. So, what might be an idea is to uh, use uh, your PP to uh, heal yourself up the full and then uh, talk to him. Uh, I don't know if it costs more depending on how much how much how much you want healed, but whatever. Uh, you can also you can also soften, but uh, but uh, that's actually for a status effect that we haven't quite seen yet. Uh, there's also a phone here, so if you want to call dad, you can. But I will say, Miss Lindgren was really worried sick about Pippi. You know, you know. We should, eh, so, talk, and even the guy with high authority, already, as in, like, the mayor of the town, would not help, all because he's up for re-election. Uh. Uh. I mean, seriously, I shouldn't be expected to do anything. I mean, I'm just a kid. I'd like to help, but I shouldn't be expected to do anything. Alright, let's see what the sign says. Healer's House, West, Beyond Bridge, Cemetery. Abandon all hope, ye who enter. <laughs> my yearbook's under my bed. We're on the world's smallest island! No, we are not. Okay, so, uh, oh wait, no, you don't want to go down... Oh, ghost. Uh, these things are pretty... These things are... Pretty fragile. They usually tend to run away a lot, though. So, uh... Looks like we're coming up some dead, dead trees. Oh, gang zombie. Um, these guys are kind of dangerous. Um... Uh... Chain... Oh my god, this is bad. Um, oh my goodness. Um, changing the Japanese version, by the way. Uh, the... The gang zombies actually had, um... Uh bullet wounds on their on their on their stomachs instead of ties. Come on, let's get a smack oh, it didn't matter. Yeah. We might want to be a bit conservative with our PP though. I uh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Uh, it's down here you wanna go. Oh my another gang zombie. Oh my goodness, this is... Oh! Taste your own medicine. And wow. Uh... Music gonna change. Okay, um... So yeah, we're in the graveyard. Uh, the cemetery now. Uh, in the Japanese version, by the way, there was actually a lot of religious imagery. Uh, these tombstones right here were, um, instead were uh, crosses instead of angels. Um, and, uh, those, uh, those, uh, tall, uh, graves right there were also crosses and not whatever they are. Kind of look like sword, kind of looks like sword, swords and, uh, stones, to be honest. Also, that steeple up there was raised a bit to, uh, cover up a cross that was there before. And instead of a stained glass window up there, there was a big cross. And also, this lady had a cross on her shirt. I'd like to stop the up the zombies' evil ways, but they did not listen to me or won't even talk to me. Now I'm too scared to leave this place. But if they completely ignore you, then that would mean they don't. They're not going to hurt you, right? Well, then again, I guess if you provoke them, they would. Oh. Anyways, um. This might seem a little simple at first uh, to get through, but funny enough, in the Japanese version, uh, some of these mazes and some of the mazes in this game were actually so hard that they actually edited them in the American release to make it easier. Anyways, Mr. Bat, probably one of the more pathetic enemies in this in this game because what they do is they think about the circumstances and then they confuse themselves. You can see, Mr. Bat, Mr. Bat B is actually confused right now because he's thinking of the circumstances, so now he's confused. Sometimes they'll attack themselves. They're not that strong, but sometimes they attack in groups, so really they're just there to stall you for time. Man, 
in these random encounters. Uh, I guess I can explain how the random encounters work in this game. Um, after a random encounter, the game will choose a number. And that number, uh, will... And that number, um, it will basically, is basically how many, ooh, next level, well, uh, is how many steps it will take, um, before the next random encounter. So, yeah. Though, I don't know if this is the glitch or not, uh, but, if you open up the menu with the A button, when the, when you exit the menu, uh, that number will actually reset, so, that can actually be exploited and used by speedrunners. However, it took one step! Ugh, whatever. But, I don't <coughs> really know how they know exactly what the number is at. And also, quite frankly, I personally don't think RPGs are really good speedrunning games. I mean, just, with how many battles there, there are, and also, think about it. If you just ran away from every battle in an RPG, you would be so underleveled that, uh, uh, that would be so oh, hard to beat the game. I learned that from Pokemon. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go. Is uh, mm. sorry if I keep showing the battles. I just really don't want to cut more. So where you want to go is you want to go down here. You know what? I'll go back to what I said. I think I will cut this out. Also, it might be important to mention that Bash 2 ahead will actually unconfuse these enemies, so... Yeah. I had a couple of the Ben Mr. Bats attack each other. <coughs> wow. Mr. Bat E is getting revenge. Didn't matter in the end. One step! Okay. Uh, good ghosts. Um, how can running away not work out? I don't get it. I don't know. Ghosts aren't that strong. Uh, I think maybe I should heal just to be safe, but... There are, um, four caskets right here. Let's check them all. Nintendo pride over the lid. Ah, from the casket. Got another pseudo-zombie. Oh, boy. I guess just to conserve my PP, I'll eat this bread. Okie dokie. That last one. Or we can have an enemy guard it. Wow. Okay. I'll be right back. That fight was really painful because none of them confused themselves, and also two of them got smash decks, and it caused me to take eight damage from each one. That was probably from the last one. I won. about me. Nah, I'm not brave. You're brave. I hope we can meet again sometime. Sure, you're kinda cute. I'm so happy to show my gratitude. Take my gift. This shiny badge will guard you. Keep it. Now let's go back to town. Intent, please go first. I am so afraid. 
So I want to mention, by the way, Ninja is 12 year old, old well, uh, Pippi is 7, so yeah. At five years apart, what's the difference? Uh, for that, by the way, she gives you something. She gives you something. The Franklin badge. Legend says that Ben Franklin wore this reflective badge during his experiments with lightning. This right here is not required, but it might it might as well be because it is a very useful item. I. Uh, so yeah, if you have a full if you have a full inventory, by the way, uh, you can get this later though. So I say let's go. Now, real quick I want to mention before we keep going. Make sure Pippi is not unconscious because you want to make sure she's awake, I guess. Now, she's level 1, but she's only a temporary party member. In theory, there is probably is some kind of exploit you could do um, to uh, <coughs> keep her the entire game, but I don't think so. Plus, things will get kind of weird later on if you do. Um... So, real quick, I want to mention is that, like in a lot of old RPGs, like in the original Final Fantasy, um, you kind of got to evenly distribute your attacks, because if I try to attack the Mr. Bat, Mr. Bat A, I said, you want, you want, you want to make sure you, you, you evenly distribute your attacks, because if I attack Mr. Bat B, and, and have Pippi attack it too, Mr. Bat B was already gone. So yeah, you gotta make sure you uh, evenly distribute your attacks, otherwise that'll happen. Now, if you can believe it, um, despite how... Despite how, um, not very good she looks, Pippi is actually a pretty good character. Um, you'll definitely see it later, I promise. Now let's... Out of here. Oh man, this is bad. <sighs> what the f <sighs> Hey, Pippi it went Pippi grew to level two. Uh, I guess something you could probably do is you could buy a, buy a slingshot, and then you could, and then you could uh, take it with you, and then you can give it to Pippi because I'm pretty sure Pippi can use the slingshot according to some fan art I see. But fan art isn't really a reliable source for knowing what to, knowing what happens in games. So if you guys want to test it yourself, you can, but I personally didn't. Um, think I should heal. Let's take a look at uh, Pippi's stats. She's not a PSI, unfortunately. Can I get out of here? Jeez. Oh, whoa. Okay, let's go. Yeah, check it out. The way the sprites are overlapping, it looks like Nintendo's pigtails. <laughs> um, I guess on her way back to town, I could mention that Pippi is actually based on... Um, a character from a children's book called uh, Pippi Longstockings. Um, I know that pretty vaguely because um, that was actually a book that I read in I think second grade. So that's pretty good. Eight damage from just Pippi's fists. Yeah, you can tell Pippi is pretty good. Unfortunately, like I said, you don't get to keep her. Maybe I should just cut to. I should just cut to. Uh, maybe I should have used that bread, but I'm really thinking maybe I should. Cu I should cut to. Uh, to uh, getting back to town. Woo! Teamwork. Able to learn new PSI power. Oh, 
Oh, Ninja learned defense up at Alpha. Okay, that'll raise his defense stat up a little bit, so <laughs> that's pretty good. You know what? I think I think I will cut it. I think I will cut it when we get Ed back to town. So, B R Bizzle. I already said I would never say that again. Also, 14, again, 14 damage, just for Pippi's fists. And real quick, I want to mention is that, <clears throat> uh, now that we have a party member, the, uh, music changes. It changes from Pollyanna to, uh, B and Friends. Look at the cute, look at the cute couple running through town. Okay, no. That's what being friends is about. Okay, let's go see the mayor. Hello, Mr. A. Goodman. You see the lost girl, Pippi? Well, that's just great. I knew that you could you could fulfill your civic duty. Applause, applause. Now, Pretty Pig, don't forget to tell your mom that the mayor saved you. Here, I will give Nintendo that prize of $100. So he bribed us to keep our mouth shut. By the way, Hero, maybe you'd like to go see what's up at the zoo? <coughs> yeah, I'd love that. <coughs> yes, you'll go. Great, great, great. Now make, now make sure you get my, uh, the key for my assistant, Ablet. Now it's time to now it's time to say goodbye. Please come by my house. I'll be waiting there here to see you again. By the way. Do you think my hair needs styling? No, you're beautiful just the way you are. You didn't have to answer, cutie. Oh, Nintendo. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um. Uh, what, Abbott? This this key will open the zoo's gate. Now, don't lose it. Yes, sir. Uh. So yeah. Um, good thing I, good, th yeah, good thing Pippi's not a liar, and neither am I. Honestly, I trust that, I trust anybody in this town to be mayor other than it, than good man. And I, yes, since I can, I guess I can get some stuff here. I guess we can get some french fries and a hamburger, why not? You know, just in case we need it to conserve our PP. But now, guys, I think maybe now might be—I think now might be a good time to end this video because I actually have not been paying attention to the length of it. And it's probably about, about 40 minutes by this point. So, um, um, well, let's take a look at the uh, French fries and hamburger first. Wait, Zoo key. This key will unlock the main gate of the city zoo. Okay, let's take a look at the French fries. Eaten, eaten with or without catsup. Your HP will rise. Fortunately, there is no catsup you can put on this. Hamburger, fast food for some for fast HP. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the hamburger uh, recovers a lot of HP, so they may be useful in that way. But now I think might be a good stopping point. So, uh, so next time on Mother Slash Earthbound Zero, we will um, head to the zoo. I'll see you guys next time, and as always, remember to smile. You were the face of Cole Flux and the Nine Gaming. Goodbye. Smart. Hold on, because one thing I want to show. Hey, Pippi. I've heard about your wonderful adventures. You are so brave, aren't you? Yeah. Don't get so swell-headed. <laughs> I want to thank you again for your help. Pippi is fine now. Uh, real quick, I want to mention is that if you have a full inventory, you can actually talk to Pippi and get the Franklin badge this way. So, yeah. Okay, now for real. See you guys next time.